So I have the Seneca Dragonfly out here about 35 yards with a target down range. Got a camera down there. Just took this out and harvested a squirrel with it yesterday when I went hunting with my 17 HMR. I had a close range shot and I thought, why not take it? And I swapped the uh, scope cam over, but I'm using the camera down there on target for that. But you may see something missing on the gun right now, and I'll cover that here in a second after I take a couple shots at 35 yards just to show you how accurate it is. With the Crossman Premier Hollow Points 14 free grain, got the chronograph running as you can see. Six sixty one. I don't know why it's not reading it. Well, chronograph is not wanting to work currently, but I'm shooting around 660 feet a second, obviously. And downrange at 35 yards, that is not a bad group. Uh, again, just pumping it is a thing, obviously, as you can see, since it's a pump gun. But it's been requested many, many times to get this out in the woods because I mentioned that I was going to take it hunting, which I have. I just never shared the footage of doing it. Not that I didn't take it out at all uh, again I had this in my truck and I got it out put the scope cam on it was able to take a squirrel with it at about 35 yards at the same distance that targets at. when I went to my friend's house to go squirrel hunting yesterday using the same exact pump amount probably the same velocity on impact uh, same pellet and everything and uh, it obviously harvested the squirrel so check that out Okay, so I just took a squirrel out with the uh, Seneca Dragonfly MK2. And uh, what happened was I got all loaded up in my truck getting ready to leave for the day. And I'm sitting there, got in my truck, just browsing on my phone, checking over everything, my messages and stuff that I didn't answer while I was out walking the woods. And out of the corner of my eye, I see something moving in the driveway. Now... My friend has chickens, but it wasn't a chicken. And I turned my head and it was a freaking squirrel. These squirrels out here, guys, are nuts. You know, a lot of people think, well, they can't be a nuisance. That's untrue. Squirrels can be the biggest nuisance if you have a lot of them. And the reason why I'm mainly over here is because he has them tampering with his vehicles. They actually got in his vehicles and chewed up wires and stuff costing him thousands of dollars for repair so i got out of my truck and i grabbed my seneca dragonfly swapped over the scope cam on it literally the squirrel's standing there looking at me the dogs in the garage started barking because they're not home right now he climbs up the tree i get up there and i can't see him because i thought he got in a hole so i walked around the back side of the house and i seen his head pop out and i whacked him Got him. And here he is down here on the ground. Perfect shot. As you guys can see. And I'm using the Crossman Premier Hollow Point 14 threes. And as you notice here, I don't have something on the gun because it was affecting the accuracy. And I shot him about eight, nine pumps, I think. I just pumped it up because I didn't know how long it was going to take to take the shot because I seen his tail on the other side of the tree. And if you know about squirrels, you walk up to the tree, they'll start moving around and you can't ever find them. So I snuck around again. I took the shot from behind the house and got him. 
it's probably about a I don't know 30 35 yard shot from behind the house so woo awesome so now as you've seen downrange how decently good it shoots at that far and I could not get it to shoot any better than that even with the amount of pumps and stuff at closer range closer than that previously what I did was Per my calculations that I know with other air guns and how pellets fly, I went ahead and removed the front sight barrel band combo. What happened was when you have this on there, it pulls the barrel down too far. And if you have one of these, you could probably see the barrel and how it's angled with this on. Pellets don't like to fly like that. So I was like, okay, all you got to do is take off the two screws on the end cap. I taped mine so I wouldn't lose them. And this thing slides right off when you remove the thread adapter here on the barrel. It's so easy to do and it helps your accuracy downrange and makes this gun even more accurate at farther range because the pellets are so much more stable. And it definitely works as you can see it. And with taking squirrels within that range obviously, no doubt about it. But unfortunately this year for my hunting season is pretty much over as squirrel season ends January 31st and that's only a day away and it's during a week day so with that said I appreciate you watching this video definitely take the barrel band off your Seneca Dragonfly MK2 if you want it to shoot pellets better at every distance and I could promise you that so thanks again for watching hope to see you on the next one guys